sleep? Mm. <laughs> no, me neither. Mm. I remember when my dad died, you know. I was only six. Got loads of presents of everyone like it was Christmas. I remember wish I remember wishing a couple of more people would die so I could complete my Lego set. <laughs> Grandma tried to explain, you know. She said, she said he'd gone away and he wasn't coming back. So I wanted to know where, like, you know. She said he was very happy and he'd gone to the same place as me goldfish. So I thought he'd flushed him down the bar. <laughs> I thought he was just round the u bend you know. He used to stuff food down and magazines and that for him to read. He took me to a child psychologist in the end. Because he, he found me with my head down the bowl reading the football results. <laughs> I knew he was dead. I mean, they're all dead, aren't they? Just getting that letter makes it seem like it happened yesterday. You never said much about him. No. You must have been pretty close. Close? Sorry, very close. Close? I hated him. I detested his fat, stupid guts, the pop-eyed, balding git. <laughs> he always wanted to join the Space Corps, be an officer. But they wouldn't take him, because he was an inch below regulation height. One inch. I had three brothers. When we were young, he bought a traction machine so that he could stretch us. <laughs> By the time my brother Frank was 11, he was six foot five. <laughs> Every morning, He'd measure us. If we hadn't grown, back on the rack. Sounds like he had a screw loose. I don't think he had one screw fully tightened, to be perfectly honest with you. He had this fixation that we all had to get into the Space Corps. At mealtimes, he'd ask us questions on astro-navigation. If we got them wrong, no food. God, Rumor, how did you cope with that? I didn't. I nearly died of malnutrition. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought you adored your parents. When I was 14, I divorced them. What? I took them to court. I got paid maintenance till employment age and access every fourth weekend to the family dog. <laughs> so why are you so completely blown away about him dying then? Oh, it doesn't mean to say I didn't respect him, didn't look up to him. It was only natural. It was my father. There's nothing natural about your family, Rimmy. <laughs> it's just... I always wanted just once, just once, for him to say to me, well done. For what? For something, for anything. I wanted him to be proud of me. Just once. And now... Ah! My stomach has been pumped and now I'm hungry. Hey, there you are. Hey, man, I'm so hungry, I just have to eat. Grim's dad's died. I prefer chicken. 